what is shown to be glamorous in movies, but isn't, in real life. Miami. 90 degrees and 90% humidity, with corruption everywhere, a much higher percentage of assholes among the populace, and people bringing their grudges from where they came from into an environment where they are going to encounter each other. Oh, and it's 4 p.m., so here comes a thunderstorm when a hurricane isn't bearing down. And little Marco Rubio and Ron Death Sonny's in office. Hotels. Those MFs are portrayed as things only the rich can do which is pretty true NGL in that they're all pampering and shiny and rich, except for if it suits the plot of that particular one movie. In reality, unless you go to specific brands kinds of hotels, the service is rude, the bathrooms stink, the beds are rock hard, the TV is glitchy, the room is dusty and more. I visited the osteopath a few weeks ago chiropractor if you're a burger muncher and he said I'm going to need to crack your neck a few times I asked can that kill me? He said that's a common misconception, you see things like that in like Mission Impossible where you can break a person's neck with your own hands, killing them, when that is impossible. Ranch farm life with good old country boys girls. Being fit and beautiful and flannel with not a speck of dirt on anything but their shoes or trucks. Raise your hand if you've a cow shit thrown into your mouth more than once so. Or just an eat of the day covered in it. Also, all the cuts and bruises after working all day. Being a nerd savant. Like that scene in Good Will Hunting where Damon's character puts down the guy's basic college educated view on economics can't remember the full scene but Damon is presented as so cool and slick whereas in reality he'd just sound like a know-it-all to what? Entrepreneurship. Movies make it seem like you start a business and suddenly you're filthy rich. It's so stressful. However stressful you think it is it's worse than that. Dealing with employees, taxes, landlords, theft, state taxes, lack of time for family and friends. People that live in these big open space condos apartments with brick walls, multiple bedrooms etc. with a view of the city in New York Toronto LA Vancouver but work some job in a warehouse or office making pennies. For example, the apartment in Big Daddy. No way. Road trips. You always see like one or two shots of the characters being cheerful then poof they're at their destination but from personal experience they suck ass, car sickness, being uncomfortable, bathroom and hunger needs, traffic, it's also annoying. People working in the office late at night. There always seems to be people milling around in the movies. Every time I've been in the office anytime after 6pm it has been nearly quiet and I usually get the lights turned out on me. Getting fit. A lot of things they just gloss over when it was hours and hours and days and months of work. Show a guy do a few push-ups in the morning next to his bed, then a few pull-ups in a doorway, and he's super jacked. Shower bathtub sex. It's just not really all that great. Aside from temperature differentials, water tends to wash away all the natural lubricants. And then there's the cleanup afterward the original bring THR mop. Living in the big city besides the pretty lights if you have a view, most don't traffic, smells, rude people, Studies show people crammed like that show something negative, I don't know it's something negative trust me. Military. In the movies, they're either in extreme training environments or glorious combat. Earl it's mainly standing around complaining that you should be off work already since you are just standing around. New York. I'm glad I visited but no one told me about the fact that there are no public bathrooms most of the time. I never realized how much I used public bathrooms until I didn't have access to them anymore. I watched the Google talk by the guy catch me if you can is based on. He essentially went on the limb because he couldn't cope with his parents divorcing. He was deeply lonely and terrified the entire time. It's vice versa for me like in movies that, that show the great plains it's like oh it sucks it's so lonely but in it look to reach so many cool tiny towns and at night in the great plain the night sky is pretty too. Sex on the beach. Sand gets into really uncomfortable places, very windy so your hair is flying all over and you end up covered in spray from the water source that you have to rinse off. Fainting. In movies it's all spoony. Earl is like. 1. Overheat. 2. About to vomit. 3. Can't see. 4. Can't move. 5. Fall down. 6. Wake up. 7. Can't hear anything. 8. Very very cold. Movies. In general. Being a movie star, working on a movie. There is nothing glamorous about the industry at all. The hours are long, the conditions are often really shit. Can't believe no one has said eating disorders. Textbook glamorized experience of a waif suddenly getting love and support and instantly overcoming whatever it is. In short, the glamorous portrayal of hacking in movies often differs significantly from the reality of cyber activities. 
which are typically illegal and unethical, showering together, sexual or otherwise. Nothing worse than getting toasty only to start freezing while you wait for your turn to use the water again, cooking. Every time I see people doing it in a movie I get a real craving. But it's not nearly as fun as they make it look depending on the movie, smoking. You can look pretty cool and glamorous, but then you can only taste smoke for like 24 hours and all of your clothes stick and are stained. Casinos, specifically Vegas casinos. I was surprised to grow up and find out they are not full of gorgeous people in tuxes and evening gowns. College dormitories. Spacious with their own bathroom and clean furniture. Not the tiny janitor's closet that they cram three people into. Snow and Bollywood movies life encounters sucked. Houston is the northernmost point I can survive. Espionage. It's generally some sweaty middle-aged guy with a beer gut and a bald spot moving files around on a few encrypted hard drives. I have a feeling being a cop detective is nowhere near what movies or TV shows portray. Long hours, shitty cases, lots of paperwork. Transdimensional travel. Traveling the fourth dimension is more than most can do, but it's not as fantastical in motion as the films. Less important character performing a noble cause self-sacrifice. Your mom wife partner would be like WTF did they do? Kissing when you first wake up gross and having shower sex. There is never enough room and the logistics are just not sexy. Being a single mom, far too many feel good stories about people overcoming odds. Need more movies like Florida Project. Parties, movies make them look epic but in real life people just stand around and talk in their own groups. Brushing your teeth. Husband and wife casually brushing their teeth and having a conversation please. Los Angeles. Movies have some weird fantasy fetishization of this city whereas most residents hate it. Being a maid. Or New York City apartments, often look big and nice, not realistic for the characters. Shower sex. Someone is always cold unless you are bougie enough to have two shower heads. Being an average person with an average job on an average income living in a larger city. Strip clubs. The movies portray them as super hot models with elaborate pole dance moves. Air travel. It might have been, once upon a time, but now it's an agonizing experience. Sorority fraternity life. It's the most unrealistic thing I've ever seen in any movie. Homes people live in. Getting up to go to work and the sun's been shining for hours. Anything involving horses. It's literally all hair and shit and way too much time. Whipped cream. That stuff stinks in no time if you put it on warm human skin. Courtrooms and trial procedure. In reality it's nothing like the movies. Traveling. Any road trip or flight longer than two hours is miserable limo. Falling off the bed during sex. That shit hurts and ruins it. Fighting hordes of swarthy dudes while wearing a full tuxedo. Violence. It ruins lives. But Hollywood sell it to kids. 